Hey YouTube, thanks for joining us again. I'm Bobby, AKA Bot. And I'm the Khan, AKA James. And together we are. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be talking about Toy Easy or Toys Easy 055 Des Destroyer Renhai Class Cruiser. That is a mouthful. I'll try it again. 055 Destroyer Renhai Class Cruiser. Got it. <laughs> and we're going to be reviewing this figure on a grading scale that we made up that called TV pad, which is the transformation, the value, the playability, the articulation, and the deco of the figure. And each one of those points is 10 and for a total value of 50. Exactly. So um, the good thing about this is typically we don't agree on things, but we decided to pick this figure up. Uh, we both had our own reasons for picking it up. And so let's jo jump into the figure. All right, so for transformation, um, I'll start off. I got a four out of 10. I think that this figure is not fun to transform. It scrapes its paint, but it's still pretty interesting how things go, but I did not have a good time transforming it. There's a lot of clearance issues, at least on my figure. Some things are loose that shouldn't be, other things are super tight, things were popping off. And actually, if you look, these little pieces, ooh, it's kind of washed out, but right here, there's some little pieces, um, the little wing pieces on the legs. I can't flip those out into robot mode because they just pop off. So I give this a four for the transformation. I wanted to like it more, but I did not. I like the way we're coming to you today with this. Khan has his in bot mode, and I actually have mine in the alt mode. And I gave it a six for transformation. There were several parts that were very hard for clearance issues, as James mentioned. Um, right here at the tip, you can kind of see it didn't tap in all the way together. And ironically, even though the sides are smooth and evened out, on the bottom, they don't seem to be tapped in really securely all the way. I had the same problem with the arms, which is the, the, the front of the ship. They would not tab in in the front, like you said, or at the bottom. And that was very disappointing because that's the main part of the ship that you see. And the hardest part I had was clearing under here the arms, which is, this is an yes. arm here, slides under this piece. And it's very, very hard to get that to actually go under. It took a lot. I probably took as long transforming the whole figure, just figuring out that piece. There's two tabs that it has to slip under and neither of them want to work with each other yes so I, I definitely felt the same way so yeah so i gave it a six um when it when it was finished it looked beautiful um but it definitely took some time to get here and it wasn't a fun time getting there that's why i gave mine a four i like to pick up my figures off of my shelf and mess with them um and this is not one i would go to and that's why i got such negative marks in my books well this is how my figure will remain <laughs> <laughs> all right so um now let's talk about the value do you want to start off with this one sure so i picked this up at show z for uh i think it was 130 bucks or yeah. 130 something bucks or something like that i actually still really like the figure um even though the transformation was a pain um it's still a beautiful figure i i'm really happy with the the look of it the one thing that surprised me was how small it is. Uh, I was actually thinking that the figure was gonna be a little bit bigger and it's very skinny, which surprised me. So um, on the scale of, for value, I gave it an eight. Okay. Um, I agree for the most part, but I put it a little lower at a six because I got it at Shozy as well for 135, I believe. But, and it wasn't the, what you get with the figure or how big it was, it was the quality of the figure. I don't know if yours has this, but these legs are really loose, like obscenely loose. Like you probably can't see it, but they're just moving. It looks um, like he's dancing right now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, he could be doing a jig, but it's just really loose. And, and like they just fall at the slightest, you know, tip of a um, good, but just touching it. So I was very, I did not like that. On top of it, the guns plug in really tightly to the point where it feels like it's scraping paint. So I didn't see it so much as a value for the money. It's like, would I want to 
get this and I still really like it like you said but I think that it the value for it is a little bit lower but it does come with this big base which is really cool um and I had no problems with the base so I I I still think six is a mount and I don't think it comes with enough weapons I would say it comes with the big cannons on the back that don't really look like cannons and it comes with two swords so I gave and it the a rocket shot. launcher and the rocket you're right the rocket launcher that I can't get the missiles out of so you are correct about that yes so um let's talk about playability and and James you want to jump into the playability since you started kind of talking about the weapons and things yes so this also goes into what I just talked about um I gave it a five just because again it's not something I want to pick up with and play on the shelf I can't get the 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 missiles out of this thing I could probably try you know before we recorded you showed me how to actually do it but it seems like a lot of pain with the paint scraping the loose joints are a big hindrance as well as these arm pieces always pop off and they're, of course they're not going to do it now but they all this always comes off and this comes off which is not ideal when i want to play with a toy with a toy because it is a toy at the, the end of the day no matter how expensive it is um so I, I gave it a five because again, I like to actually play with these things and mess with them and put them in poses and stuff. And we'll get to that. It is good on that point. But as far as actually playing with it, I'm not a big fan. And and it doesn't plug into the stand. I thought it was going to plug into the stand so we could like tilt it up and you know have it like at a different angle. It doesn't. It just kind of rests in it. It cradles in it, which is how actual ship models work. But for this, I wanted a little bit more dynamic. Um, pose for that well playability for me i gave it a four mm -hmm. and so a little bit lower than you and some of the same reasons i thought the base was really cool i really like the base feature it had uh these little um signs i guess you can put up but while i was lifting the other one on this side it actually broke off wow and so that really upset me um i liked the way you could actually lift the base mm -hmm. and put the ship on or the, the uh, bot on but as james mentioned it doesn't really tab on anywhere it's just resting on here and it's pretty heavy so there's not there's no ratchets to kind of keep it elevated or anything like that it just wants to fall right back down so um you know a for effort maybe but that's it um in terms of storage you can actually store the weapons underneath here i thought that was really cool as well um and then in terms of playability again you can't really do much with it in this mode it's not like it's a car you can roll it or anything like that it doesn't float in water i didn't try it but i doubt it floats in water <laughs> not um, with that die cast yes but you know um i didn't really enjoy the transformation so again going back to the playability i don't want to touch it again yeah you know when the other pieces come back out um I don't know if we mentioned that this is a the first part of a combiner. Um, when the other limbs come out, I will change it to the arm mode and probably leave it there uh, for the remainder of its life. Uh, but the transformation and the playability is not fun with this figure. Yes, I, I completely agree. One thing that I did want to point out with the playability is it actually has a parts forming piece, the crotch that holds in this piece right here that you actually have to remove when you turn it into ship mode and if you don't have it in a robot mode it just comes apart so you have to put it back on every time and that is so annoying to me and it you know i'm okay with parts forming like ultra magnus with the armor and stuff as long as it has a purpose this you take it off and put it on the base when it's in ship mode and you don't look at it which i, right, I, I right, right there exactly which i do not like that is so lazy but I think it was actually afterthought because they probably got the figure in and was like, oh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the waist won't stick together. But I, that's, I still don't like it. Well, and then when we talk about uh, something else, it comes with these rockets, which are really cool. So we can talk about kind of the articulation aspect yeah. of it. Um, again, I'll be coming from a boat mode. There's nowhere for these to plug in on. And you and you think what it looks like is like some sort of tower or so I don't know how towers look like naval towers, but it looks like something that you would go and 
put there and it'd be like part of Metroplex or something like that, you know? Nothing. Like, no, they, nowhere, nowhere for it to go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, um, even the, the missile or the, the big cannons here, nowhere for it to tap onto on the you ship. You know, that actually is a good point because when I got those, I thought cause the pictures, it looks like it plugs onto the side of the ship. And I'm like, oh, cool. You know, it's yes. a Cybertron and it has big cannons coming off the ship, whatever. But it was, goes on the base. <laughs> yes. I, I was like, what is going on? Yes, I was bamboozled. You know, yeah. so um, so with the articulation, you know, in the ship mode, uh, the only thing that moves is this cannon here, and it rotates side to side. Um, there were some other features that were advertised for the figure. Um, there was like a helipad, a helicopter, and a, um, some blast effects and things that are supposed to plug in. But while advertised on Show Z, it didn't come with the figure on Show Z. So um that's something that actually upset me but really that's all you can do in ship mode is turn this and yeah. that's your articulation in ship mode you know, yeah. or in alt mode and and for robot mode he actually is pretty articulated um he has a pretty good head joint as well as and ev all the joints that you would expect a transformer to have he has a pretty good ab crunch as well um a lot of panels um, these tend to get unplugged when you move his legs, but he has good range in the legs. He doesn't have a double jointed knees. He only has about, I would say, um, 70 or so degree bend. At least I can't get it to bend anymore. Um, he has good ankles, which is a very rare thing to find where he could go forward and back and left and right. So, um, oh, see, there, there's the leg just falling. Um, so I think for me, for the articulation, I gave it a nine um, because I can get this guy in almost any pose I want. He looks good. Um, he could fight whoever I want. So I gave it a nine. I'm quite happy with how it is in robot mode. And I gave it a six. So, um, you know, I, I definitely think that the robot mode has a, a lot more features than the alternate alt mode over here. You're correct. I don't didn't really take the alt mode into consideration because it is just a ship. <laughs> so it's meant to look. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, we come up on Deco. And I gave it a 10. I absolutely love all the small details. I mean, there's so many details in here. I mean, you can see kind of the launch pads. You can see the the different um, areas that look like windows around the tower here. I mean, it's just so many details. Even the little missiles here have little holes where you can kind of see where the missiles would, would come out of. The radar tower here, um, you know, you have the the windows on the side of this ship here as well. I mean, I, I just thought that this was beautiful. Um, it, it looks amazing. The, the propellers in the back that actually move, um, you know, I thought this was, was beautiful. Um, I can't even, I can't imagine them doing better with this aspect of it. So I gave it a 10. I complete this, the, uh, you actually shocked me because I gave it a 10 as well because I think it is painted superbly. Um, like you said, all of those details and um, the propellers really surprised me because I've never seen a propeller shaft on a transformer. It's just a propeller stuck to the back if it even has that and it's not just a boat. So those little details really got me. Um, the robot mode, I love all the, how the blue, I, you probably can't see it, but there's like little blue decos that comes out even on the inside of the leg. Oh, you can kind of see the blue right there. Um, with the wingtips on the, the little feet, you get that. Um, the red looks great, all the little details. It looks really good. Um, I wish I had a little bit better QC issues, but as far as the deco is great. Like I saw this thing when, it, when they first announced it, and this was even before I knew it was a combiner, and I wanted to get it because it looked so nice as a standalone figure. Um, Same here. And I, and I pre-ordered it. I think I, I told you about that. I, I pre-ordered it the same day because I was like, I want this. And then it came out, it was a combiner. And I'm like, oh, that's even better. <laughs> so um, I, I gave I, it to Deco too. 
I actually saw the bot mode and uh, it made me think of the movie Pacific Rim. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh-huh. that's, I, I just thought it was really cool looking um, in bot mode. And I had never seen a transformer ship. Um, I mean, we can go back to G1 and think about broadside, the triple changer, but you know, something that looked really like a, a destroyer. I mean, this was an amazing looking transformation. And I thought the alt mode looked amazing. I thought the figure in bot mode looked amazing. Um, I loved the accessories that were shown with it. I love the, the rocket launcher. Um, even though it is a little hard to get these missiles to poke out, um, it would have been nice if they had like a little sliding tab here to get these yeah. in and out. But once you do it the first time, they tend to come out a little bit easier afterwards. But I just, I, I loved everything about this. This, this feels really sturdy. Um, it's very clean. And I mean, the, as James mentioned, the paint is amazing. They even oh. have wording on the missiles here. I don't know mm-hmm. if it shows, but you can actually see wording on here uh, for the type of missiles. So just the, the uh, detail is amazing. Yes, I, I completely agree. Um, I, it looks amazing and I'm glad at, it might not be fun to play with, but at least I could put it on a shelf and it'll look nice. So, all right, well, what is your total? Did you calculate your total? Uh, so right off my off the top of my head, uh, 39. You got 39? Yes, I think that's yeah, right. I got 34. So. I mean, I like this figure, but I'm going to be on, and this is something I haven't told you. I might be out of this combiner with, wow. with the quality of the looseness of the joints and the paint scraping and stuff. I don't know if it's going to be worth the money for me personally, for the money that I would have to put out. So I, I might, I, I really wanted to like it, but there's just so many problems with the price of a combiner that I might honestly be out of this. I don't know. Wow. We're, I'm gonna play it by ear, but um, that's that's my feelings right now. And then they might show the final combined mode, and I'm like, okay, you're sold. You know, I'm sold. But um, we'll see. We'll see. It also might just be disappointment because I got it, and it's kind. I got it right at. Literally, it was waiting for me after we got back from TFCon. So I had all these amazing toys, and then I got this guy, and I was like, eh, it's okay <laughs> compared to you know Delta Baser, which was blew me out of the water. So, so yeah. for me, I, I am in, I'm still in, I'm still riding the, the, the ship, you know, I'm not jumping ship, <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> intended there. Um, I'm, I'm still in, I love combiners. I think that these are the one-offs that I'm added to my collection that look really good in, and I may keep them in alt mode um, because I don't have any ships per se. It's, it's almost like uh, Moon Studios train bots. You know, I, I really like the, the idea of the trains because it's something different that to my collection. Um, so I'm still in. I'm hoping that the combiner pieces are um, better um, once, it's, once it's merged. And, you know, I, I think we'll be doing a review then, even if it's a matter of, me having all the figures and you not or we'll we'll see because you know i really like the look of these guys though you know i just think i'm put off by i haven't had this is going to sound really bad but i haven't had this bad of an experience with third-party product in so long um that it really put a bad taste in my mouth um and that's not saying it's a bad figure i i would recommend it to specific people that like unique items like i do um but for the general public i probably i didn't i was surprised when you wanted to buy this quite honestly um so we'll see what the future holds i'm still curious about what it's going to have and it really depends on the price of these things because if i could get it for a decent price i will probably still pick them up i agree i agree Uh, i mean i couldn't see spending too much more on these with um the you know, the QC, the QC issues, as well as the size of the bots. Like I said, I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger, um, but I'm still all in. And, you know, I I think that the, the biggest, I think I was really hyped about these. And I think you were probably hyped even more than I was. And I think that's the reason for your letdown. 
is because you were so so excited to get Uh these and then it didn't necessarily meet what your expectations were going uh-huh, to be. Exactly. Um, I, there weren't many reviews of this, I think still up. And I, you know, and I wanted to watch a few, you know, to see what other people have, but, you know, ordering off a of show Z, you get it first. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. Something you, that we didn't mention is the instructions or lack of instructions so there are no instructions in the box and here's the box and we can see from the side you can see the different modes of the robot on this side you can actually see the alt mode and the arm Um, here you can see again all three modes and on this side you can actually see the ship and then in the back you actually have a code where you scan to get the instructions on how to transform the figure. And the thing I didn't like about that was I was constantly hitting pause as I was getting frustrated with trying to uh, get something to click together or move something around. And so it wasn't an easy video to watch. And there was actually a step or two that were left out of the video um, so that was kind of irritating as well. I completely agree. I mean, I like videos after you transform them once or twice, but I still like to have that paper sheet and maybe while I'm doing the video because you get a different angle from it. You know, I had perfect effect cryotech and I didn't transform them for a long time and the videos were really helpful. But for the first time with something this complicated, I needed something a little bit more detailed. Exactly. And I, I, I'm used to watching other reviewers do transformation as well. So it may be a 20, 30 minute video. And yeah. this, I believe was like a six minute video. So it was very short. All three modes, not just going from bot to, to boat. Yeah. Yes. So it was a very short video, um, which made it definitely harder to, to transform than I would have liked. So that is my gripe with the figure overall as well. Yes, I, I agree. Um, so I guess we could wrap things up. Is there anything else you'd like to say about this figure? No, I would say that, you know, Toys Easy 055 didn't meet my expectations, but it didn't fall too drastically off the mark. Um, I'm glad I picked up the figure, but it definitely didn't have the nostalgia or the excitement once I started playing with the figure. I agree. Um, again, I, I think we picked the wrong figure for this debate show, <laughs> um, but <laughs> it, it fell rather far from my expectations. Like you said, I think I built it up too much. There, there was a lot of hype online about these and I was expecting a figure that I could tighten the hips with the screw and it would still be tight, unlike this where I tightened it and it was still loose after I tightened it which doesn't make sense to me, but that was my experience. So I think it is a good figure. I'm happy to own it and this one, and it will be going in my collection. Um, I just wish it was a little bit more put together QC wise. I think if they fixed some of the loose hips, some of the paint scrapings, they didn't slather it in paint like they did. They would actually use the gray plastic um, I think this would have been a knockout of the park, 10 out of 10 for me. Well, I, I think, you know, we we definitely have uh, some differences here, but a lot of things we saw on the same, same page. Um, but, you know, again, I think it's a great figure. If you decide to pick it up or if you have any comments, please leave them below. We'd be happy to interact with you guys. Or if there's another figure you'd like for us to review, please let us know. Yeah, well... Um... We'll see you next time, guys. All right, have a good one. All right, till all debates are won.